So a lot of you always want to see where we stay when we go to Orlando. Villas, hotels, resorts. So this is the villa we're staying in and I'm going to take you around, show you inside so you can see what it's all about. So this is our three bedroom villa. We're staying in the Kissimmee area which is called Sunset Lakes and it's in the Four Corners area of Kissimmee, if you know where that is. It's, as a point of reference, it is just behind the new Margaritaville Resort, which is along there. You obviously can't see it. Um, but yeah, it's a very quiet residential area. Gated community, You've got the gate at the end just there. Uh, it's got a massive lake right in the middle, but it is really nice and peaceful. There's not many vacation homes here, we think. Um, a lot of residents and it's uh, yeah it's very very quiet very nice and we like it right so let's go in and check it out so we've got a nice little porch area with a bench and uh, we've never used it but it's quite nice so we'll go in so this is the main reception as you can tell it's a lot like a lot of the villas in Orlando area all open plan. There's Pippa. Um, the kitchen. Fully equipped kitchen. Fridge freezer. Massive fridge. Ample room of freezing space. Fully equipped kitchen. That's the crap corner, all the food. <laughs> Microwave toaster. Great big oven. Always so spotlessly clean, their ovens coffee machine you've got all the crockery you want as well so if you need well that's some more crap in there we've got cups and saucers and plates everything we've got a dishwasher twin sink with waste disposal nice little breakfast bar area which Erin uses a lot two cool seats pretty cool then we've got the live-in space which again is all it's all open plan. The whole thing is open plan, as you can see. There's Erin, playing with her Polly Pockets. So we've got a big screen TV, we've got a little bit of entertainment down there, we've got a DVD player, we've got a Nintendo Wii, we've got some DVD movies, which we haven't even watched. We've got some kind of iPod soundbar thing there, which is pretty good. Nice big sofa. Dining table which seats six. There's only three of us staying there. Got a safe in there. That's handy to have to keep all your documents, your travel documents out of the way in case it, you know you do get burgled. Take you through so from the living room over there. So from the living room over there and the kitchen, we spin around and we've got the two smaller bedrooms. So on the left, Erin's bedroom, which she's got a double bed. She's also got a TV, ceiling fan. I mean, the whole house is air conditioned anyway. She's got a nice big walk-in wardrobe area space. And we come out of Erin's bedroom. She's got her own toilet area. Nice two sinks. This has actually been refurbed. It's quite, a, I'd say it's an older villa, but it's been refurbed a bit. So it's um, been decorated with new sinks and a uh, new bathroom. So it's got like the uh, sort of modern spa tiles. So that's the bath there. There's only one bath in this, but it's a three bedroom, uh, sorry, a three bathroom villa. This is the second bedroom. Ideal, this is a dumping ground for us really. We don't use this, this is just for our cases and packing. We are near the end of the holiday, so excuse the mess. Um, two single beds, got your own telly, drawer space, another walk-in wardrobe there, and again you've got a ceiling fan. So yep, yeah, that's a nice big bedroom, plenty of space for a couple of kids or in-law outlaws to stay in. And then as we come out of the second bedroom, walk back into the kitchen. Show you in the kitchen, we've also got a utility room. So we've got a washer and a dryer, and these are quite new as well. I think they've also got a wireless app thing you can sort of log on to and see how, how your washing's doing. Pretty cool. 
We've got a third bathroom in there, which we don't even use. So from the utility room, we go into the garage, which is just a massive garage really. We use it as a bit of a drying area for clothes that we don't want to stick in a tumble dryer. It's got a couple of bikes in there. I think there's a few games in there. But yeah, it's very, very hot in here. As we come back out of the garage, utility room into the kitchen, we'll take you into the master bedroom. Lots of space for storage as well in this place. And this is the master bedroom. So we've got a nice big double bed, dresser, nice big mirror, big screen TV. And we've got a walk-in wardrobe. That's our little charging area down there, excuse the mess. Nice little walk-in wardrobe. I say walk-in, it's more of a stand at the edge. Um, yeah, so plenty of storage space for your clothes. Big screen, that's already said that I think, big screen TV. And we got our own ensuite, which is, as we said, we think this has been refurbished recently because it's a nice modern bathroom. Two nice sinks there, mixer taps, big mirror. We got a spa style shower, walk-in shower with a rainfall shower, which is quite nice. It's got three different jets, which, which is a bit odd. We got one for your body, obviously the top one there, and then they've got this magic wand thing that you, well, you can do whatever you like with that, but there you go. And uh, yeah, all nice spa tiles. Pretty cool. Lots of storage space underneath in the cupboards. Two cupboards in the bathroom for storage. And I'll show you just so people can see. It's more like a shoe rack thing than a, it's just where you can put bottles, I guess, and things like that. And then a sm another small cupboard. It's actually quite big, this cupboard, for that lonely hairdryer. So, yeah, that's the ensuite. And as you walk out of the ensuite, back into the bedroom, it's a little bit dark, apologies, but we've got a nice view and then an exit to the pool area, which is just hither. Pretty, pretty good. A nice view of the lake down there. It's a bit overcast at the minute. Yeah, so that's the uh, master bedroom. As we come out of the master bedroom, there's another shot of the open plan area. And then we go out to the pool area. So we've got a, like a, can't really see it because it's too dark, but we've got a little alarm button that you have to press to open the door. This is obviously to do with Florida state law that you have to have some kind of security device for enter and exit the pool area. If you uh, leave the sliding door open, the alarm will go off after about 20 seconds. But this is the pool area, the decking area. Really, really nice. We've got a lovely big wooden table with chairs. We've got the sun loungers, modern sun loungers. Nice pool there, there's Erin. Nice pool area. We look over the lake as well. There's one of the lakes. We've got two lakes. That's a smaller lake. And they've also got a hedge, which kind of like keeps you a little bit secluded from everyone else. And uh, they've actually got a little cut in the hedge so you can see out to the lake, which is quite nice. But it's a decent sized pool. We've spent a lot of time in this pool. Also comes with a barbie as well. We've got a barbecue in the corner just there. And yeah, really, really nice really nice that's not ours <laughs> we didn't bring that that was in the pool Aaron's loved that but this is probably one of the best villas we've stayed in um, it's close to everything it's close to Disney's about 10 minutes away like I said it's a stone's throw away from the 192 which connects you to pretty much International Drive Disney um, if you want to jump down to Legoland on the Highway 27 that's only up the road all a lot of new development up this area as well you've got margaritaville which is literally a stone's throw away from us loads of new restaurants are popping up so it's a great area a really really great area very quiet and um we got this villa through homeaway.co.uk we'll put a link in the description below and um, they're a british couple a really really nice couple respond to emails and phone calls you know pretty much instantly and uh, really recommend it, really recommend this place. We'll give them a good review, um, but we'll put a link to their details as well. So if you do want to rent this villa out, we're not on commission or anything like that. We're just literally telling you that this is a great villa to rent out in a great area. So yeah, that's our villa. Any questions, stick them in the comments below. Catch you in another video. See you later.